hey guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel the best channel in the world welcome back to a fake effect so y'all i had a whole intro shot you know telling you guys what i'm getting ready for but it actually got deleted so anyway your girl is going to one of the biggest food festivals in nigeria it's being hosted by fusion lifestyle and it is happening right here in abuja so in this video we'll be doing my makeup hair and i'll be showing you guys you know my outfits at the end of the video so if you're ready for this please make sure you subscribe like comment and let's get into it okay okay guys so i'm looking at my mirror just in case people are wondering where i'm looking down so first things first we have to moisturize those lips you know because hamatan is here so anyway y'all let's do a little everyday makeup tutorial so right now i'm using a brown eye pencil to fill my eyebrows and kind of give it you know the shape that i want and now i'm going in with my classic foundation and my la girl pro <laughs> concealer to define my brows i'm using my foundation for the top of my brows you know trying to define it and doing the same you know for the other notes i am not an expert i'm just doing what works for me and showing y'all my everyday makeup routine so no this is not a professional uh makeup video it is just how i do my everyday makeup so now i'm using my concealer to define the bottom of my brows my eyebrow um was already taking the shape because i had shaping it, you know before defining it with my concealer and my foundation so it actually made it easy so y'all yeah, i'm going to be using my fingers to blend my makeup so you guys should not judge me okay it's is what actually works for me and i haven't gone makeup shopping in a while so i didn't want to use old beauty blenders so now i'm adding more concealer you know just to blend it underneath my eyes so that everything will just look so sleek and you know so together you get like if we just only define the eyebrows you know without putting like extra concealer as you can see on my eyelids then at the end of the day it's just it's just look somehow and we really don't want it like we want it to look professional so right now i am going in with my classic powder although i was being skeptical about it because this was the first time using this shade but it turned out okay and i was just like in my head now it's eyeshadow time guys i don't know which color to use so the outfit is going to be wine color so i wanted to match it you know with my eyeshadow so i'm going to use two colors as i said um one wine color for the most of the eye and a dark blue color for the back of the eye i don't know how to explain it but shall you guys will understand what i mean uh, to give it you know that smoky look and yeah like i cleaned underneath the eyes you know just to remove excess um eyeshadow from my face and it looked good so now i'm going in with some dark eyeliner probably known as kajal in my local market and i'm putting it at the bottom of my eyelids to give it that dark effect before going in with my eyeliner so drawing them eye wings as we girlies call it can be really tricky so i just start drawing it from the corner of my eyes you know to the tip of my eyes i don't know if that makes sense so i draw it like all thick you know as you can see from the color of my from the corner of my eyes and then as i go down it's like a slope so the corner of my eye is like very thick and then as it goes down to the tip of the eyes you know it's very thin so it's like a slope so i hope that actually makes sense to you guys because i don't know how else to explain it it can be very very tricky but once you just take your time it's very very easy to learn yes oh my god 
so my lash extensions are still on so i'm using this my tiny brush to just put it in place so my face gets really really oily so i'm cleaning it with you know a wipe before doing my face bits so this is actually when you apply your primer but my own primer is very very oily so i just had to go straight into the foundation am i the only one that feels beauty blenders like absorb my foundation because for some reason i just love using my hands you know to blend my foundation you know the old-fashioned way like for me it just gets the job done and anyway as you can see i actually blended my left cheek before my right cheek and then after that i'll go to like my chin and then after that i'll go to you know my nose and then the top of my head you know so it's just better to do everything like one section at a time one part of your face at a time so now i'm applying my concealer underneath my eyes on top of my nose bridge the tip of my nose i'm also going to be using my hands to make sure i blend it very very well you know so that some parts will not have concealer and some parts won't doing the same for the other side and now i'm going in uh with more concealer on my chin and more concealer on my forehead you know you want to get concealer that is a shade lighter than your foundation you know so that they can see the difference i made sure everything was blended to my face properly before going in with my brown powder and yes as you can see i am being very very generous with my brown powder it just seals in all the foundation and concealer that was applied so yes you want to get your brown powder everywhere now i'm going in with my black eye pencil to line in my lip you know to give that africa magic epic vibes to give that arasta viral makeup vibes to give that thames makeup <laughs> you know and after that i'm going in with my brown eye pencil to just like give it that subtle look and gosh it was already looking good and now i'm going in with my lipstick my nude lipstick in the middle as you can see flip it so everything can get together and after that i'm going in with my pink gloss to add more definition to the look and i'm putting it where i just literally applied the nude and now i'm going with the ultimate transparent lip gloss this is definitely my go-to i can't say i'm done with my makeup without getting a glossy lip like gosh can you see how it put everything together i love love this glossy look and i'm cleaning ss you know lip gloss and we are done now i'm applying my bronzer on the tip of my lips yes so that it can give that shine i want oh look at that look at that and now i am applying it on the tip of my nose i'm applying it on the corner of my eyes and also lastly I'll, I'll i'll be applying this on my eyebrows and before you know it ladies and gentlemen our look has come together it's a very very simple makeup routine that you know has worked for me and i think it's worked for you too so you guys should definitely definitely try it it's very simple and easy to do so guys i'm all done and this is the final look <laughs> so right now it's time for us to do hair and after that we move to outfit or should we do outfit and then move to hair no i think we should do hair then move to outfit guys i'm late jesus i'm very very late now it's time to style my hair so i am losing my protective style y'all can go and see my last video where i taught you guys how to use ginger and moringa oil to treat your hair so that you can understand the oil that i'm using to actually get this beautiful beautiful afro coily look today 
no gel added and you guys can already see the curls coming up so as you can see it's already coming together all i'm doing is using my oil that i already used to treat the hair to also loosen the hair so that it can give like less breakage and less friction guys are you seeing what i am saying if i literally wanted to carry my hair like this i could definitely just do it but the look i'm going for is um a more juicy and small coils type of afro type of look <laughs> so i'm just like using my moringa and ginger oil as i said you guys should watch my last video if you want to achieve this look to loosen the you know the big curls so that i can give me like the tiny curls that i need <music> Yeah, now I'm using um, my comb to just like fluff it out and give that volume that I really, really wanted. And then I saw that, you know, some areas they had big curls. So I used my fingers to just, you know, try and loosen it. And before you know it, we're done. But, you know, center parting doesn't really work for me on any type of hair that i do so i wanted to go with like a side parting so right now i'm putting my hair in a side parting i'm still going to do an afro but just a side parted afro so you guys should definitely do what works for your face it could be that it is center parting that looks good on you you can go ahead and do that but for me and for this video this is what i want and it was already coming together and i was so happy <music> guys my hair looks like kinky look just just take a look at this like it is so dark and everything just blended with it this is like literally the viral um is it arasta makeup guys and look at the hair oh my god look at it like camera is really not doing justice to it right now it is so 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 beautiful time for us to get ready okay guys so for my outfit today i have this big trouser i'm going with this long sleeve and this trouser and my shoes <laughs> oh my gosh these are the shoes i'm going with today yes it looks so good the reason i'm going with this outfit is because yesterday i watched poetic justice you guys know um jenny jackson so jenny jackson in the film had this really cool outfit it's just that i'm not going with a cap or braids but you know that's why i saw her wear this i think she wore a blue of this i'm going to put a picture as i'm talking so she wore this and that's why i remembered this and yes i'm pairing it with this light um trouser with pockets i love pockets and i'm pairing it with this cream trouser because i'm going with this um dark top and yes i just want it to blend and you know these days i like blending my trousers with my shoes because it just ends up looking like an entire outfit i'm sorry i'm breathing because i'm rushing so right now I'll just go get ready and then show you guys the outfit put together with jewelry okay guys so this is the final look as you can see <laughs> Stop. thank you so much for watching uh this little uh, get ready with me i will see you guys later the driver is already here and now it's time for me to leave and in my next video i'm going to be showing you guys like the entire event so thank you guys so much for watching and i love the fact that everything came out so well makeup came out so well hair the dressing and yeah this is the uh uh sorry the jewelries i went with at the end of the day okay so guys that is it basically thank you <laughs>